The Quest 3 is powerful with double the GPU processing power than its predecessor, but many games are still catching up. They're only optimized for Quest 2 specs, so you have to wait until developers actually enhance their games for Quest 3. The good news, you don't have to sit and wait, you can ramp up the graphics, think sharper resolution and smoother refresh rates for every game right now. And the difference is huge, as you can see. It's especially noticeable if you look at side-by-side -side in VR. It's a bit hard for me to show you the difference on a flat video, but you should be able to see it if I zoom in. Now you have two options for doing this. The first one is free for those that don't mind putting more work into it for each game. The second one is a lot easier to use, but it is a paid app. So that you know, I've personally purchased this app, no sponsorships here, I've just genuinely been enjoying this app so far. Today I'm going to walk you through both options and show you how to do it. There will be timestamps down below and now let's get started, join me beyond reality. First, a disclaimer. Boosting your Quest 3 graphics isn't officially approved by Meta. What's this mean? Well, possibly quicker battery drain and a warmer headset. Now, I've tried it with no major issues and so have many others. Plus, the Quest 3 OS is based on Android, so the stuff we're doing is basically launching a bunch of ADB commands, which is a common thing to do in the Android world. But remember, you are tweaking at your own risk. We're starting with SideQuest, which is the free option and will be a very short tutorial. I'm going to assume you've already got SideQuest's advanced installer installed on your PC. If not, check out my tutorial links below. Now open SideQuest and connect your Quest headset. Make sure it's connected. If this icon is green, you should be okay. Then click the wrench icon at the top right for device settings and tools. Here, you can easily tweak settings uh, like refresh rates, CPU and GPU levels, and texture sizes by just clicking on one of the checkboxes. This method is free, but keep in mind not all games handle these boosted settings well, so some tinkering is needed for each game. Also, you need to connect the headset to your PC each time and these settings reset when you restart your headset. This is where the second option comes in. Quest Games Optimizer, let's call it QGO from now on, offers a more hassle-free solution for 10 US dollars. It kind of does the same thing as the SideQuest method, but it comes loaded with predefined profiles for hundreds of games optimized for Quest 3 and its predecessors. So then all you need to do is select your game, apply the profile and you're set. Plus, you only need your PC for the initial initial setup, after that, no PC required. And a quick heads up, there's been some buzz on Reddit about QGO's permissions. Some users are concerned about giving the app access to the Quest 3. While I can't vouch 100% for the developer because I don't know him, I did do some research. First, the developer notes that the permission that everyone is talking about is the Android accessibility permission, which is off by default and can be left off. This feature found in the app settings allows the app to detect whenever you launch a game so it can apply the profiles automatically. But it's not essential to have this feature. Skipping this only means a few extra clicks to uh, launch launch games with the profile, so for safety, I've personally just kept this option off. To reassure myself further, I confirmed with Bastian. He's a respected developer slash hacker in the VR community, and he told me he has checked and confirmed the app's safety. I mean, you still can't be 100% sure about anything, but that gives me enough confidence to uh, keep using it. Just something to keep in mind, and if you've got that, great, let's get those graphics going and finally get started. It's really easy, only 4 steps are needed and the timestamps are below. For this tutorial, I'm focusing on the Quest 3, but like I said before, it supports its predecessors too, so Quest 1, 2 and Pro as well. I'm also going to assume you have developer mode and side quests installed already. If not, I've made many tutorials on that, so I'll link one of them below. The only thing you need to make sure is that you're using the SideQuest Advanced Installer. Step 1. Download the app. You can buy and download the app on itch.io. I'll link it below. Remember the email address you used here as you need it later. Now you should get an email with your link where you can download the file. Step 2. Install the app on your Quest. You should now have this APK file. Open SideQuest. Connect your Quest to your PC. This icon should turn green. Then use the Install APK button. Find the APK file on your PC and install it. 
Wait till it finishes and while you wait, like this video as it supports us a lot. Step 3. Enable wireless ATB Initially, you'll need to enable wireless ATB, but don't worry, it's only the first time. To get started, simply click the Wi-Fi icon. Wait until you see the arrow appear here, indicating that it's now active. To confirm if it's working correctly, you can disconnect your USB cable and if this indicator remains green, then you'll know that wireless ATP is successfully activated. Step 4. Launch and use the app. Go to your app library in VR, find unknown sources in the drop-down, find QGO there and launch it. Enter the email address you used to buy the app. Now take notice of the window because we have to make sure you're going to do all this. Then click continue. You now have to accept a couple of permissions. This is a really important step to make this work. Make sure to click always allow from this computer. It will ask you this four times during the initial setup. After that, it will ask you once each time you reboot the headset. Once you're done, the app will launch. Make sure that the ADB icon here is green. If it's green, you know it's working. If it's red, then you might have forgotten something. The solution is to uninstall QGO, reboot the headset and install QGO again by following all the steps in this guide exactly. If it still doesn't work, contact the developer or check the community pages because it could be that a meta update broke it. And then we have to wait for an update by the developer. Now this icon will stay green as long as you have your headset on. If you restart, you'll get a permission window again that you have to accept. This enables Wi-Fi ADB again without needing a PC, which is really nice. You're done now and you can fully explore the capabilities that this app has. Find a game you want to enhance. If the game does not have any Quest 3 enhancements yet, then the difference will be highly noticeable. If you don't know what to try, then I recommend trying out Mission ISS because it's a free space experience and since it's a very old app, it's so cool to see the graphics enhancements. Now straight away you'll see all the games that you already have installed, so if you have chosen a game, you can choose one of the preset profiles here or customize it yourself. If you don't want to use a profile, you can click the cross. I recommend starting with one of the HT Plus preset options as the developer has optimized these settings to reduce lag and performance. Then just launch the game from here and you should get a pop-up saying that the profile has been applied. You should be able to notice the difference immediately. Well usually after the menu. If you don't get a pop-up, by the way, make sure you have Do Not Disturb off in your Quest 3 settings. At the time of making this video, the difference is night and day with games like Mission ISS, Walkabout Mini Golf, Journey to Foundation, while there's just so many. Even the home environment can be enhanced by clicking the home app here, which is a huge difference as well. But you can check this page right here to see which games have been optimized with profiles by the developer. If the game isn't on here, you can play with the settings yourself and save it as a profile. There are a bunch more stuff you can do with QGO. It can become your personal personalized game library, for example, as you can actually sort this one with custom categories and folders. If you've ever found the Quest's standard UI a bit frustrating when searching for apps, this feature is really nice. The app even unlocks some new features like capturing 3D photos and videos. You can use it to install the OVR metrics, which is a developer tool by Meta actually, and it shows you statistics so you can make sure you're doing stuff right. The app also offers battery saving profiles which can help extend your Quest's battery life. Some premium features may require additional permissions, but they can streamline your experience like adding a shortcut to QGO, eliminating the need to navigate through unknown sources. It's all about making your quest experience more efficient and enjoyable. I've spoken to the developer and he's been incredibly helpful and responsive. I also saw his dedication to adding game profiles and providing numerous updates over the years. So I'm genuinely glad that I found this app and I hope you enjoy it as well. If you have any questions, I recommend checking out this extensive FAQ, I'll link it below. However, if anything is still unclear, drop a comment below and I'll try to help out. Let me know as well if you're planning to give this app a try and which games you're looking for forward to using it with and subscribe for more.